So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 5 of our Pompey career mode and we are going to be kicking off this episode with the transfer deadline day. So unfortunately we have no money whatsoever so because we have no money whatsoever we are not going to be able to go ahead and sign absolute anyone which is a little bit disappointing there not unless we can go ahead and bring in someone from Borussia Dortmund which does go by the name of Moore he looks very good but I will offer him a two-year loan deal and let's see what he says otherwise no we're not gonna be able to sign anyone so by the looks of it we're gonna go through the whole of transfer deadline day without one single email we wanted to go for more but we cannot even afford 7,000 on the wages and we even put up a few players for sale but no one obviously coming for them for you players so that is going to be it. We cannot afford more on a loan deal, but that doesn't really matter. I think we got a good enough squad, and let's have a look at our youth player. He's a potential of 61 to 94. He looks so, so good, and uh, I just can't wait to bring that youngster into the club. As soon as he's 16 years of age, we're going to snap him up. So, guys, here's a look at the new signing we made, Karoma. He's very quick across the ground. He's 68 rated. He can play striker, right wing, left wing, and he's 18 years of age he's six foot one so he is looks very good but considering everyone is in inspired form at the moment I don't really want to mess up the team so therefore we're gonna leave it as it is the only change is Baker's coming at right back because our uh, Berejano whatever his name is um, is actually on international duty so he can't actually play this game the game is however away from home against Cheltenham so can we come out victorious and make it five League wins in a row. We've pretty much got exactly the same side out. And just look at them arrows. The positive arrows are next to nearly every single one of the players. Come on, Pompey! We squeeze the ball through to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin's through. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He cuts back inside. Chaplin to go for the far pose. But the Cheltenham defender gets back in time. And they're celebrating as it's just they just like the won the game. But we've got a good chance here from the corner kick. Bennett whips the ball in the box. Can we get to that one first? Unfortunately not. The goalkeeper comes out. It comes back to Lookman. Lookman to strike it from range. And that was a little bit poor from a player of his quality. Considering he scored an absolute bullet in the previous game. That one was a little bit tame. So Reese Oxford plays ball out wide to Ender Stevens. We're going to try a strike from range with Ender Stevens. And, um, well, maybe we won't be trying any more long range strikes with him at any time soon. So Connor Chaplin is just an absolute animal. He plays ball through to Lookman. Lookman to turn. Lookman to strike it. And that's a very good block from the Cheltenham defender there. But Reese Oxford picks up the missing piece. Play the ball to Baker. Baker to Bennett. Bennett's cut back in sight on his right foot. He goes for the strike. But once again, the Cheltenham defenders are standing firm at the back and they're not letting anything get through but we have completely dominated the possession stats and we have created some good chances but when we've got in them good positions there's always been a Cheltenham defender player there oh they've scored they're literally their first chance of the game and they found the back of the net I don't know what I was playing at. Actually, the ball comes in here. We have a fantastic block. And then it looked like the danger was all clear. And then the, somehow the ball ricocheted straight back to their player. And they fire it into the bottom corner. Their number seven gives them a 1-0 lead at home. The Portsmouth fans can't believe it. Considering we've been completely dominating the game, it looks like now we're going to have a game on our hands. We've got to try and come back yet again. So Cole Bennett's obviously going to win this foot race across the face of the pitch. He's going to whip the ball in the box. He's going to come to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin to win that one in the air. And that's the only downside to Connor Chaplin. He's not the tallest player in the world, is he? And we've done it. We have done it again. Look, man, is one monster of a striker. We were complaining at the start of this series saying, look, man, you know what? We spent quite a bit of money on him and he hasn't done anything for us. And boy, is he doing it now. He scored yet another fantastic goal. We win the ball back. A lovely ball through. Restocks are through to Lookman. Lookman takes a touch and then strikes from the edge of the box. He finds the bottom corner. And our number 15, Lookman, has scored yet again. We get ourselves back on level terms. Cole Bennett through to Lookman down the right-hand side. Lookman, has he got anything on? No, he doesn't. But he plays the ball back to uh, Baker. Baker through to Laukovic. Laukovic take on his man. Laukovic to strike it. Oh, 
That was inches wide of the post. It looked like Laukovic, our number 10, had found the back of the net there. I thought it was in. Look how close this was. It takes a little bit of a bobble, and that is so close. But with just 15 minutes remaining, it looks like unless we can do something, it looks like we could be on course to drop our first points. But we are going to bring on Karamar now for Lukman, because Lukman's getting a little bit tired. Omer can come off, and Roberts can come on. And then we're going to bring on Smith instead of Bennett on the wing, and let Let's see if one of them three players can inspire the team or maybe even Karamak can score on his debut and pick up all three points for us. So if anyone's going to score, it could be Cheltenham here. They're really playing on the pressure, but we managed to get the ball clear with Chaplin. We can see the ball out wide. We play it out. Can we get it out there in time? No, we can't. And that could be our chance squandered there. I think if we could move the ball a little bit quicker, we could have been through. But Retox has been actually, he's been taken on there. And uh, oh, I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm out of breath. We need to try and hold on at least for a point. We win the ball back with Matt Clark. Matt Clark. Can we find the ball over the top? Connor Chaplin, come on, get to that. Come on, Chaplin. Come on, Chaplin. Ah, oh, We need to get that. We need to tackle the ball with just three minutes remaining. Unless we can win the ball back here, it could be all over. It looks like it will be. It looks like we're going to drop our first points. And uh, yes, we are. The referee's going to blow his final whistle in a matter of time, minutes. There we go, we've dropped them. So we end up drawing the game at 1-1 away from home against Cheltenham. Obviously, it's not the worst result in the world after coming down from 1-0. Uh, but I would have expected us to win that game, especially how well we played in the first half. It was just we went to sleep at the end of the first half. A little bit disappointing there. But, of course, it does not it's not the end of the world, is it? We're probably still going to be in the top three and we still need to clinch that automatic promotion. But it's a fantastic start to the season. I would have never thought we would have started so well. So I think the reason our um, rating is going down so much is because we're our profit is down by 1.54 million because we've earned 2.68 but then we've spent 4.22 but if you actually have a look at this guys the shirt name sales for Chaplin the highest selling shirts are Chaplin Kosovic and Clark and the travel costs oh so look there's different things here so player wages um, their travel cost, we've actually spent 16000 um for going to the Cheltenham game. Uh, youth facilities, we've got minus 40000 for um, youth facilities. The player shirt sales, obviously their player wages, match tickets. So we've had 130000 worth of match tickets there. And we've actually earned half a million uh, through earnings of match tickets. So we've got an average attendance this season of 16,000, which isn't bad at all. Stadium maintenance, we've actually had, had to spend um, 54,000, um, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, prize money, we've um, won 9,000 for reaching the round of 32, which is good news for us there. And um, star signing debut, Berahino and Edwards, um, their debut earnings have gone up by 50,000, which is always good to see. And apart from that, there is nothing else. But I don't know why our budget keeps, or our a target keeps going down. But be, put that aside, we've got another game. We are going to be playing at home this time up against Hartlepool. So hopefully we can come out victorious on this one. We are going to be playing in our home kit. Hartlepool with a very sexy pink kit there. And we are going to be playing with exactly the same side. Come on, Pompey! So Hartlepool creating the first chance of the game. And that volley... Wow, that was extremely close to find the top-hand corner. A little bit poor defending from us there, but that is a fantastic volley. Our goalkeeper was getting nowhere near that one, and we get let off the hook with just five minutes on the clock. Hartlepool, yet again, another good chance to play the ball down the wing through Thomas. Thomas whips the ball in the box, and uh, wow, we get let off the hook again. A very good chance to Hartlepool, and the touch at the near post was a little bit too strong. Otherwise, it might have just squirmed underneath the goalkeeper's body. But we've got to pull our act together at the back. We're really struggling for some reason in this game. Oh, keeper, keeper, keeper. Oh, dearie me. What are you doing? I thought that was going to be a really easy save. It was one of them that you normally expect the goalkeeper to shuffle his feet across and catch the ball. No, he suddenly decides to do the fantastic save and uh, doesn't get anywhere near it. So, uh, well, looking at it from that angle, it doesn't look too bad. But from the angle that you were playing with, it looked like it was an easy save for the goalkeeper. A little disappointing there. I thought he could have done a lot better. Once again, we're 1-0 down.
A good ball through to Lookman here. Lookman to strike it. Lookman and once again the goalkeeper making a good save. Lookman is in inspired form. So it wouldn't surprise me if he finds yet another goal in this game. So Laukovic down the right hand side. He's going to cut back inside. Plays the ball through to Ender Stevens. Ender Stevens has absolutely got nothing on whatsoever. But Kyle Bennett eventually has made the move so we can actually play the ball to him. But I don't actually like whipping the ball in the box because Connor Chaplin hasn't won one header at the moment. And uh, we can't lose there. Come on, Baker. We cannot lose the ball in them positions because now you're completely out of position and we could really get punished here. They're through. Baker, you're in trouble if they score. Come on, goalkeeper. You can save this. Yes. Yes, well done, goalkeeper. And we just about get the ball clear, or do we? Then Baker gives it away again. Baker had an absolute shocker there. So Bennett's cut back inside. He plays ball back to Baker. Baker through to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin turns his man. He goes for the strike. And Connor Chaplin... That was really poor. That was a not good attempt whatsoever. I thought you were going to have a better shot than that. And it just squirmed out of harm's way, not even troubling the goalkeeper. So maybe we've got a chance here. We can play the ball out wide. It comes to Karama, who's just come on the pitch. He's going to cut back inside. It comes back to Gary Roberts. Surely, come on, get there. Oh, no. We completely messed up our chance. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know whether to blame the player or blame myself. A big chance for us there with just 10 minutes remaining. And that could be the last one. So we play the ball through to Karama here. Karama down the right-hand side. We've got to try and get the equaliser. We squeeze the ball back into Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin. Oh, dearie me. With just four minutes remaining, I don't think we're going to get another chance now. That could have been the last one. So Chaplin on the ball. Chaplin plays the ball through to Reese Oxford. Oxford through to Bennett. Bennett to strike it. And the goalkeeper makes a fantastic save at his near post. This could be our first loss. So that's it. The referee blows a full-time whistle and we are on a bad run. Well, not exactly a bad run, but we've drawn one and lost one in two consecutive games. And we're not used to that. We had a fantastic unbeaten start to the season and now it's gone to pot. So since the transfer market has closed, we've lost two or well, lost one game and drawn one. We've lost at home as well. And that's a bad result. We need to pull our socks up and we need to definitely get our act together and start putting points on the board. Otherwise, we're going to start dropping down this table. Uh-oh, Matt Clark's injured. He's suffered a sprained ankle and we're out of action for three weeks. And we got a player conversation from Carl Baker saying thank you for giving him some action. But we are now going to move into the third and final game of the episode, which is going to be up against Barnet. So what we're going to do, we're going to change up the squad a little bit because they are getting a little bit tired. And let's see if we can pull out all three points. So we've made a few changes for this game. Karamar has come in at striker. Edwards has come in at Cam. Lingandzi's come in at CDM. And then we've changed the back line up with Buxton, Burgess and Berahano all coming in. So we need a win desperately. So Marcus Edwards here. Oh, that's a fantastic challenge. And can we get there in time with Kyle Bennett? No, we can't. But they do hoof the ball out of play. A very nervous start from the Barnet centre-backs. And I'm sure we should be able to capitalise on that. But Karamar on the ball here. He plays the ball through to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin through to Edwards. Marcus Edwards turns his man. He's going to go for goal, but it comes out wide to Bennett. Bennett to strike it. Oh, it's gone wide. I thought it was in. I thought we had got off to the perfect start. But unfortunately, Edwards, uh, Bennett's shot, sorry, went just wide of the post. And that would have been a fantastic goal and a fantastic start to this game. A good ball through to Marcus Edwards. Can Edwards find the back of the net? Yes, he can. And Marcus Edwards, we had faith in playing this young star that we recently brought in on loan from Tottenham. And we wanted to play him because I do believe in him. We could have played Gareth Roberts, but no. Or Gary Roberts, but no. We decided to play Marcus Edwards. And that's a lovely finish under the Barnet goalkeeper. And there we go. We're one new up. It looks like our winning ways have come back. So Lingandi squeezed the ball through to Karamar here. Karamar to take the strike and the Barnet goalkeeper making a good save at his near post there. But we're going to try something from the corner kick. Let's try and whip this one in. It comes in. It's going to come out. It's going to come to Burgess. Burgess to strike here. And it's yet another good save from the Barnet goalkeeper. We squeeze a lovely ball through to Karamar. Is he going to get there in time? Oh... The actual centre-back has out-muscled him. I thought the six-foot-one frame of his and that speed was going to get there before the centre-back, but it wasn't to be. And it's a good chance here for Barnet on the break. They've got their player running down the right-hand side. They're number 32. They whip the ball in the box and we win that one, but they're still under pressure. They strike it. And that's a good save from our goalkeeper and he done well to hold on to that as well. 
A good chance though. We squeeze the ball through to Laukovic. Laukovic with the ball across the face of the goal. And oh, that was so close. Marcus Edwards, if you run in front of your man, you would have got the touch. But that's, I think, that's just a lack of experience there. But a very good chance before the half-time break for us here. From the corner, Burgess to win the header. Comes back up in the air to Bennett. Bennett's cut back inside from the right-hand side. Can we curl this one into the top right-hand corner? No, we can't. And that's it for the first half. We squeeze another ball through to Kyle Bennett. Bennett's going to strike it from the outside of the box. And oh... That had some power behind that one. And uh, we do look very dangerous on the counter-attack here. And just attacking in general in this game against Barnet. I don't know what it is, but we can see Conor Chaplin making the run. Conor Chaplin, can you get there? Unfortunately not. And I think we're going to have to give Conor Chaplin a rest. Because he has played pretty much nearly every game we've played with Portsmouth so far. And I don't know why, but his stamina seems so good. So Marcus Edwards squeezed the ball through to Bennett. Bennett to strike it. And it's a good shot, but it does get a slight block on it. Which does, in fact, favour the goalkeeper. Because it rebounds straight into his arm. But we've got another good chance. Comes to Marcus Edwards. And um, he went down rather theatrically there. And there was no way the referee was going to be pointing to the penalty spot in that sort of situation. Hunt plays the ball back to Karamar. Karamar is going to keep on going. And this guy is just unstoppable. He whips the ball in the box. Can we get there? The goalkeeper comes out and makes a good punch onto that one. Otherwise, it would have been a clear header into the back of the net. And uh, with just five minutes remaining, we need to hold on. Can we get there now? Because actually, to be honest, Barton... Barton? Barnet, I should say. Um, have, haven't really done much all game. But the second half, or the second half of the second half, they've really piled bodies forward. So they are slightly impressing here. And Gareth Roberts, or is it? It's Gary Roberts, isn't it? Why do I keep calling him Gareth Roberts? I, don't, I think it's Gareth Walker, that's why. But anyway, um, yeah. They've actually piled quite a few bodies forward and they have caused us quite a few problems. Haven't had any clear cut opportunities, but they've had a few chances. But we've got the ball here with Karamar. Can Karamar get there? Oh, it was a poor ball from, uh, I believe, that Smith that's playing up top with Karamar. And it was a, if that was a better ball to him, it would have been clear through one on with the goalkeeper. But it does not matter because we've won this game. We have come out 1 0 winners. Not the biggest scoreline in the world, but it's. That's all what counts. It doesn't. I don't really care if we win 20-0 or 1-0. Well, I do care, but it doesn't make any difference because we pick up all three points, and that's the main thing. So, guys, this is a question for you. My rating in the top left is consistently going down. I just won that game, and it went down one rating. What am I doing wrong, or why is it going down? I haven't been doing anything, and yet it keeps going down. But... Put that aside, that's the end of the episode. So if you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to hit the button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.